I'll ask Jeffrey de Graff to throw for the ball, please. That's the bullseye. And that's 25. So Jeffrey's got the darts. So first leg, it's Jeffrey to throw first. Game on. Well, this is the start of our quarter final match that we're going to be showing you. And this man here, Holland's Jeffrey de Graff, taking on Scott Waits, a man we've already seen on the internet lane today. A man on fire at the moment, having won the event yesterday, the British Classic. 85. And once again has reached the latter stages of the British Open, a title he won in 2011. 60. And I'm joined here by Richard Ashdown in the commentary box. Hello. Here we go, yes. I've been down on the floor. I was your roving 100. reporter, wasn't I? Feeding you some results in the last match. Yep, the results were coming in thick and fast. I yep. felt like Jeff Sterling up here for a while. Yep, so we do know our complete quarterfinal lineup. This isn't what you're going to be seeing. 93. We can only show you one quarterfinal because all four matches are being played simultaneously. But it's Mark McGeeney taking on Martin Phillips. Gary Robson is taking 100. on the unknown quantity of the quarterfinals, Yorkshire's Willie Kershaw. And then our bottom half of the draw sees this match in Jeffrey de Graff, Scott Waits, and they'll be taking on the winner of 94. Ryan Dawson against Martin Adams. So we could be looking at another Waits Adams clash upon the stage. One hundred and eighty. Yeah, great. That's looking tough at the moment. Good to graph you on 157. Wouldn't rule it out, but well, you have to now. But before he throws, you think. 57. Any finish, Jeffrey DeGraff is left with. Scott, you take require out. 36. He is in good form at the moment. Has been for the past year or two. But it's Scott Waits here. He's one dart in his hand at double nine. Game shot on the first leg. Scott Super Waits. start for Scott Waits. He breaks the throw in the very Second first leg. leg. Scott to throw first. And Game he's on. got to try and consolidate that break by holding his own throw. And he will be halfway to the semi-final. Well, Jeffrey, as you mentioned, great form. Picked up his first ranking title back in 2012, and it was a tough one, the Isle of Man Open. He's now got nine to his name. Most recently, the Belgium Open 58. Champion. Another yeah. tough tournament to win, and he won the German Open earlier this year. These are, these are big open events. Add to that, his run to the final of the 22. World Trophy in Manchester. Yeah, he's having a great year. Yep, could have been the champion, but Hurt de Vos of Belgium pipped him to the post. 96. But I do think that that major final has given Jeffrey the confidence to go on. As far as the lakeside of the World Masters are concerned, he's never got past the last 32. 100. But as I've mentioned, all of those nine ranking titles and the World Trophy final, very, very capable player. He looks in good shape here in Bridlington. 99. Well. Yeah, De Graff has earned a reputation of being a very, very, very tough floor player to beat. But it just seems that when he goes on stage to play in these major events, it's like a mental block. 43. He has. He's played the three first round ties at Lakeside and only won two sets in those three matches. They were both against Jan Decker three years ago. 100. As we mentioned, that the World Trophy seemed to be kinder to him. He reached the quarterfinals of it last year, lost out to James Wilson, who went on to win. Yep. 100. Lost in the final to Jeffrey, Kurt, you so require 148. Maybe he likes it better up north in England. <laughs> we are in Bridlington. Well. 92. Trying to set up there with another treble 18. Scott, you require 136. Two treble 20s, double eight. Oh, the shot's on. Lucky. Round top. 100. Lots of pressure Jeffrey on this. You this would require be for a break 56. Back. 20 and double 18. 100. Game shot on the second leg. Big Jeffrey de Graaf. Yes, big dart. Certainly was. Third leg. It's Jeffrey to throw first. Breaks right back. Game on. And now Waits has to break de Graaf again if he wants to win this match. Sixty. Well, there's been lots of interest across the weekend with the internet stream. People watching from all over the place. And 
139. Another message from Darts Australia. The president down there, Kelvin James, saying he was enjoying the stream from up here in England. 77. All these Facebook fanatics have been uh, enjoying every piece of the action. We do like the social media, don't we, Anthony? Oh, yeah, we certainly do. She wears screaming, uh, scrolling through Twitter as we speak. But I think he's checking the football results. <laughs> Forty-five. Fifty-seven. Well, Jeffrey started this leg. He has not scored well at all. Fifty-eight. Thrown. Players expect to be, or hope to be, on a double by now. He's still on two-six-one. Ninety-five. Uh, he'll be back for a one-five-five. The graph needs at least a ton here. Well, he's going the right way about it. One hundred and forty. <laughs> well, after that visit, he'll be wondering why it's it took him twelve to score two hundred and forty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but now then, treble nineteen leaves double nineteen for a one-five-five finish and another break. What Game a finish from Scott Waits! Leg. Scott Waits. Absolutely incredible. Fourth leg, it's Scott to throw first. Game on. One hundred and forty. Forty-five. Terrific stuff from Scott Waits. It has to be said, you can see the confidence seeping through him after that win yesterday. 100. He's had a tough time with his shoulder. 58. 58. Well, we're up. 100. Balcony level here at the spa, but there's plenty of play going on downstairs. The ladies into the last 16 stage, and the men's are in the quarter final. 36. Lots of cheering going Scott on. Scott, you big require Yorkshire 161. Cheer. I if that was for Brian Dawson taking on Martin Adams. We will confirm. We've just seen a 155 from Waits. Oh, will he go for the ball? Oh, 136. So <laughs> That's no. 140. Well, Scott, you require 25. Scoring early in the leg, Jeffrey's just gone to pot completely. Indeed. And double eight for weights. It's a good marker. I can use that to hit the barrel and get out. Nine score. But to graph here on the double Nelson, 2 2 2. 94. Great last start, but again, it could Scott, be you require too, little, too late in this leg because weights for 3 1 needs double eight. Game and shot in the fourth it. leg. Start, Scott Waits. A 3 1 lead fifth now for leg Waits. Jeffrey to throw first. The has Game to throw on. This next leg, and it's a leg he has to win. Well, we can confirm that big cheer that we faintly heard 85. was the defeat of Wolfie Martin Adams to Yorkshire's own Brian Dawson. No. 95. Yeah, Brian Dawson, another man who's been reaching the latter stages of a lot of events recently. 100. Well, he's in the semi-finals here, and he's the man that awaits the winner of this match. Indeed. 50. A quarter finalist at Lakeside this year, being beaten off the eventual champion, Scott Mitchell, in a match featuring 41. Doggy, Scotty Dog, refereed by the pup. One hundred and thirty-seven. Well, start to the leg for weights, but he's finding two trebles there. Has just put him in front. But look at the graph. Oh, marvellous start from the young Dutchman. One hundred and eighty. He'll be back for ninety-five, and weights can only pressurise. And that's not the way to do it. 
85. Well, 85 Jeffrey, scored. you require 95. 95 for Jeffrey. Oh, well, he's hit the 25, but the angle that dart is in. Yeah, found the treble 18 Game and hits the double the eight. What a leg. brilliant check out. Jeffrey de Graaf. From Jeffrey. Six leg, it's Mars, Scott second throw dart, first. clearly in the treble Game 18. On. Because the double eight follows up. Brave way to go, I would say. 100. Yeah. It could have gone big 20 of bull, but bravery paid off. Yep, showing belief in himself there, Jeffrey, and it pays off, as you say. 134. And suddenly the scoring has come back for Jeffrey. Will it be too little too late? Because this is the leg for Scott Waits with the darts. Yesterday's Winmore British Classic champion. 100. Looking to reach the semi-final stage, and it would be upon the stage today. 97. Great cover shooting from Jeffrey the last few visits. 95. Waits has to hit a treble here to leave a finish. And does 85. It, it, so an outside chance here for Jeffrey. Yep, a turn here for Jeffrey at least will leave him a finish. 140. Yeah, He'll be back for 130, but what can Scott Waits do here? 216. Another two of those, oh well. He can still leave himself a nice finish. 100. 116 isn't Jeffrey too bad, but the graph has first shot at this finish. 130. And you fancy him to come close. The way he's been playing the last five or six visits, double five. Oh, well, we saw a 155 earlier. That would Scott have been just a special. 116. Yeah, but another ton plus finish here for weights. Treble 20, single 16, or single 20 for double 18. It's there, Game and he is into the semi-final the for the match. second day running. Scott, Scott Waits. Waits, a fantastic finish. Two excellent finishes in the match. And he dispatches Jeffrey de Graaf by four legs to two and takes his place in the semi-final of this tournament. Yep, great end to our internet streaming as far as our private lane up here on the balcony is concerned. But we will be back on the stage in, well, we're hoping to be starting...